Hello, this is Dr. Hine, and welcome to the Matt Bunker. Today, we're asked to write the slope-intercept form of the equation of the line through the given points. Then, we're going to use the equation of the line to graph the line, and then I'm going to label the two points and prove that the line matches the equation. Okay. So first, I'm giving two sets of coordinates that fit on my graph. So let's say my coordinates uh, is negative 1 and negative 1. So x is negative 1, y is negative 1, and the second set of ordered pair is negative 3, x is negative 3, and y is negative 5. I'm going to use the data method to solve this. And I'm going to put the equation in slope-intercept form which is y equals mx plus b. So mx plus b, where m is my slope. m is my slope, and b is my y-intercept. I'm going to use the TI-30XS calculator and solve it with the data method. And these are the steps I'm going to use. First, I'm going to clear the memory by pushing on and clear at the same time. Then I release at the same time. It'll say memory cleared on my calculator. That's simple enough. Then I'll push clear. Now, I'll locate the button that says data. And then I have L1 and L2. L1 will be all my X's. L2 will be my y's. So I'll enter negative 1 and L1 for x, negative 1 for y for an L2. So here we go. I'll push the negative button for 1 and it puts negative 1 at the bottom. And I'll hit enter and it'll put negative 1 and L1. Now to put negative 1 for L2 I'll use this button, arrow over to L2, and plug in negative 1. That'll take care of the first order pair of negative 1 and negative 1. Then I'll do the same thing for negative 3 and negative 5. Now I'll have negative 3 and negative 5 side by side. Once I'm satisfied my numbers are entered, cor entered correctly, negative 1, negative 1, and for x, negative 3, negative 5, I'll go to my home screen by hitting second mode. Second mode then I'll push second data. I'll select two var for two variable statistics and hit enter. Then I'll select calc for calculate, hit enter. And it's stored under D and E, where D will be the slope and E will be the y-intercept. So D, it says A equals two, so my slope is two. E, the y-intercept is one, it's a positive one. So my y-intercept is positive one. So, slope 2, y-intercept 1. So my slope, or m, is 2, while my y-intercept, which is b, is 1. Using the substitution method, I'll substitute the m for 2, and I'll substitute the b for 1, and it will look like this. And so my answer is y equals 2x plus 1. I'll now graft it. So if I have a vertical line, and we'll call this line the y-axis, followed by a horizontal line, we'll call the x-axis We'll start by finding the y-intercept first. Now notice the y-intercept is 1. So the origin where the x-axis meets the y-axis is 0. And it's a, it's a positive 1. So it goes up 1 unit. So if I climb up 1 unit, I'll make a dot and positive 1 will be located here. Next I'll do my slope. My slope is 2. 2, 2, 
the number 2 is the same as 2 over 1 because any number is itself over 1. So 2 will be my rise and what my rise is is how far does it rise from the y-intercept and my 1 will be the run. How far does it run away horizontally from the y-intercept? And so we start at the y-intercept and it rises two units. From there I start counting 1, 2, it rises 2, but it runs 1 on the x-axis, so 1 on the x-axis. So up 2 over 1, I'll make my second plot. Then with a straight edge or a protractor or a ruler, draw a straight line through the two points. I'll line the two points up with a protractor and draw a straight line. Now this line represents y equals 2x plus 1. The next thing I'll do is I'll plot negative 1, negative 1. And I'll start at my origin. I'll go back one unit and down one unit. So starting from the origin, I'll go back one unit. I'll do that in red. I'll say I'll go back one unit and go down one unit, and I should land on the line. Now on your papers, label this as negative 1, negative 1. So negative 1, negative 1. And so I'll label it when x is negative 1, comma, y is also negative 1. Now I'll do the same thing for when x is 3. See that up here? When x is 3, I'm sorry, when x is negative 3, when x is negative 3, y is negative 5. So I'll start from the origin. I'm starting in the middle, in the origin. I'll go down negative 3 units, negative 1, 2, 3. And from there, I'll go to the left, negative 5 units. Negative 5 units, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. I should still be on the line, which I am. And so I'll label this as negative 3, comma, negative 5. And notice, because two of the points, both of the points that were given, are on the line, we can conclude that this line matches the equation y equals 2x plus 1. Hey, again, this is Dr. Hine, and thank you for joining me in the Math Bunker.